Using a code editor is a universal experience of all programmers. Unless you're working with Fortran back in 1968, every one of you watching this video have used a code editor to write and edit code. If you're new to programming, my name is Eric, and in this series, you're going to learn all about the tools developers should be proficient in using. Today's topic is on code editors. At its core, a code editor is just some application used for the purpose of writing and editing code. There may be different editors with different features and tools, but the base functionality is the same, to write and edit code. In general, there are three main parts to any editor. The first is the file explorer, where you can open up a project directory and browse different files to edit. Second is the text editor itself. This is where you'll edit and write all the contents of your code. Lastly, is the configuration of your editor, which contains settings, plugins, and extensions to change the built-in tools that you have. Across all code editors, these base functionalities should be present and you should be comfortable with whichever editor you choose. Speaking of different editors, there are a few types of code editors to choose from. The first being online or web-based text editors. Web-based editors are special as they are not running on one's local device, like on your computer, but through a website and a server that stores your code and even executes code remotely. So while some online editors are slightly limited in that they can't be run locally or they can't store code locally on your computer and you're forced to have to run and execute code remotely, there are still many projects that can be built with online code editors that are good for learning. A lot of these issues, such as slower performance or having to store code remotely, do not really affect newer programmers who are just trying to learn the basics of a language. Such examples of online editors are GitHub Code Spaces, which is very similar to VS Code except online, and also Replit.com, which I use for teaching because they have a good live collaboration feature and it's very easy to set up a working IDE. Next on the list are text editors, which are installed locally to work on editing files on your own device. Text editors are usually very versatile and fast compared to other softwares such as online text editors or other IDEs, as they include less specialized tooling that is built in. However, many text editors still allow for the installation and configuration of many tools to make development easier. Text editors like NeoVim, Zed, and VS Code are highly configurable and performant for developers. With NeoVim being my personal favorite and being a terminal-based text editor, Zed being very performant and good for live collaboration, and also VS Code being very popular with a lot of community support in the form of community extensions. And the last main type of code editor are IDEs, also known as Integrated Development Environments. They can be characterized as highly specific text editors that have lots of support and built-in tools for a specific language or type of development. Many tools for project management, debugging, and auto-completion are often very good in IDEs, such as IntelliJ for Java development, Visual Studio for C++ development, and also Android Studio for Android development. The only downsides to using IDEs is that they're sometimes limited in their performance as they have to run a lot of tooling in the background, and also by being useful for only one use case. In these examples, you can see how each IDE is only really good for one specific language or type of development, such as you know, Android Studio for Android, Visual Studio, C++, and Touch it, Java, or other IDEs exist, like let's say PyCharm for Python and Xcode for Mac and iOS development. Now that you know about different editors, it's time to choose. Whether you're new or experienced, many developers rely on several editors for different projects, so it's okay to try out different editors and switch around. I currently primarily use NeoVim, but I could switch to Zed or even back to VS Code or any other IDE, and everything would not change that much about my development experience. I also, of course, use IDs like IntelliJ or Xcode depending on the project I'm working on. 
The key point is to just get familiar with your editor, whichever one you choose. Get familiar, configure your editor the way you want, and just be proficient in using it and all the tools that are included with it. That's it for this video. Comment your favorite code editor and let me know what topic to cover next. That's it.